Tesla just pulled off a $4.3 billion move that no one saw coming. And while the media stays silent, the rest of the EV industry is about to feel the shockwave. This isn't just another supply chain adjustment. This is Tesla rewriting the rules of battery technology. And once again, everyone else seems completely oblivious. So what did Tesla do that has the potential to leave its competitors in the dust? Let's dive into the deal that was never supposed to see the light of day. On Wednesday, South Korean battery giant LG Energy Solution announced a landmark battery supply contract. But here's the kicker. Sources confirmed these batteries are destined for Tesla. This wasn't supposed to be public knowledge. Both Tesla and LG tried to keep this under wraps, but the information slipped through the cracks. And now, the EV world has a secret it can't ignore. But why is this deal so important? It comes down to the batteries themselves. These aren't your standard lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries. No, these are a whole new breed. LG's new LFP batteries boast energy densities 50% higher than anything currently on the market. To put it simply, Tesla just secured the best LFP batteries the world has ever seen. This isn't speculation. This isn't rumor. This is fact, backed by LG's own technical specifications. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Just months ago, Tesla had a tentative agreement with CATL, the largest battery manufacturer in the world. So why did Tesla cancel that deal and pivot to LG? Tariffs? Political pressure? Those are convenient headlines, but they're not the real story. The truth is, Tesla didn't switch partners because of tariffs. They switched because LG has something CATL doesn't. Next generation battery chemistry that changes the game entirely. At the heart of this is LG's new precursor-free cathode material. Sound technical? Here's what it means in plain English. By eliminating expensive precursors in the cathode production process, LG has managed to slash costs while simultaneously boosting performance. These new batteries don't just last longer. They also perform far better in cold temperatures, an Achilles heel for most LFP batteries. For Tesla, whose vehicles need to perform from the scorching deserts of Arizona to the icy streets of Toronto, this breakthrough is monumental. But that's not the whole story. LG has taken it a step further. They've developed a hybrid battery that blends the stability of LFP chemistry with the energy density of nickel-cobalt-manganese (NCM) materials. This is where things get wild. These new hybrid batteries deliver 50% more energy density than standard LFP cells, while costing around 10% less than high-nickel NCM batteries. Think about what that means. Tesla gets batteries that are cheaper and provide dramatically more range. In an industry where shaving off $100 per kilowatt hour is considered a massive achievement, this leap is borderline absurd. And yet, nobody's talking about it. Not a single major automotive publication has connected these dots. GM, Ford, Volkswagen, all of them are either unaware or quietly scrambling behind the scenes. Meanwhile, Tesla is already locking in production lines. But here's where things get even stranger. Many analysts are parroting the narrative that Tesla's pivot to LG was driven by tariff pressures and the need to domesticate its battery supply chain. But that's not entirely accurate. Yes, tariffs are a factor, but Tesla had already planned on bringing CATL's battery production lines to its Nevada Gigafactory. The infrastructure was in place. This pivot isn't about avoiding tariffs. It's about securing a technological advantage that competitors can't match. Let's talk production. LG's Michigan plant is set to kick off mass production of these new batteries this year. Sure, Michigan isn't the most logistically ideal location for Tesla, considering their main factories are in California and Texas. But it's a temporary hurdle. LG is already building another plant in Arizona, which will streamline supply directly to Tesla's Texas operations. And here's the real kicker. While the media focuses on superficial headlines, Tesla is quietly building an insurmountable lead. By combining precursor-free LFP technology with NCM blending, Tesla is creating a product that offers higher range, lower cost, and superior cold weather performance. This isn't a marginal improvement. This is a generational leap. Competitors locked into traditional high nickel batteries or standard LFP cells simply can't keep up. They're trapped in supply chains and production methods that Tesla is about to make obsolete. Remember, 
Tesla's existing advantages in production speed and vertical integration already give them the lowest cost per mile of any EV manufacturer. This battery breakthrough amplifies that lead exponentially. And yet, nobody's paying attention. Not the media, not the analysts, not even Tesla's rivals who seem to be sleepwalking into a technological ambush. So why hasn't this been reported? Why is nobody asking why Tesla canceled a deal with Cattle, their largest supplier, and signed a $4.3 billion contract with LG instead? The answer might be simpler than you think. Most outlets are too busy chasing clicks with surface-level EV news. They don't have the technical expertise, or perhaps the curiosity, to dig into battery chemistry advancements. Meanwhile, Tesla is content to let the world stay distracted while they quietly outmaneuver the competition. Now, let's talk about the batteries themselves. These aren't just theoretical lab creations. LG has already begun producing LFP cells with precursor-free cathodes. These batteries enhance both performance and manufacturing efficiency. They also reduce industrial wastewater and carbon emissions, making them more environmentally friendly. But the real magic happens when LG blends in nickel. At Battery 2025, LG showcased ultra-high nickel cathodes with a nickel content exceeding 95%. These are high-voltage mid-nickel variants that combine the best properties of NCM and LFP batteries. What's the result? Batteries that are 10% cheaper than traditional NCM cells, yet deliver 50% more energy density than standard LFPs. For Tesla, that means EVs with longer range, lower cost, and superior cold weather reliability. All critical factors for mass market adoption. While the rest of the industry debates charging infrastructure and software updates, Tesla is securing the hardware advantage that truly matters. And there's more. LG's precursor-free technology isn't just a cost saver. It enhances battery stability in freezing temperatures, a feature that's been a persistent weakness for LFP chemistry. For Tesla owners in Canada, Northern Europe, or even Northern US states, this is a game changer. Imagine a Model Y with LFP batteries that rival or surpass NCM battery range. With lower costs, better cold performance, and faster production scalability. That's not a distant dream. That's what Tesla is preparing to roll out in the next product cycles. To top it off, LG's Arizona plant will soon come online, providing a domestic supply chain that's immune to tariff fluctuations and shipping delays. This positions Tesla to not only meet US demand efficiently, but also expand aggressively into other markets. Tesla's rivals? They're still tangled in negotiations with CATL and other legacy suppliers, trying to optimize old battery tech while Tesla is already mass producing the next generation. If you think Tesla's dominance in EVs is only about software, think again. Hardware, specifically battery tech, is the foundation of this industry. And Tesla just secured a foundation that's stronger, cheaper, and more advanced than anything else out there. But what does this mean for the future of EVs globally? It means Tesla's vehicles could soon achieve ranges that make range anxiety a thing of the past. It also means Tesla can offer these vehicles at lower prices, undercutting rivals on cost while offering superior performance. Consider this. A Tesla Model 3 equipped with these new batteries could easily exceed 400 miles of range on a single charge, while costing less to produce than a current standard range model. That's a paradigm shift, not just a product upgrade. And it doesn't stop at cars. Tesla's energy division, including products like the Powerwall and Megapack, stands to benefit immensely from these advancements. Lower costs and higher energy density make large-scale energy storage more viable, further cementing Tesla's position in the renewable energy sector. Tesla's competitors are now faced with a stark reality. They must either scramble to catch up, investing heavily in new battery research, or risk being left in the technological dust. And given the lead Tesla has just secured, Catching up won't be easy. While this move will first ripple across North America, the implications stretch globally. In Europe, where emissions regulations are tightening and competition from local automakers like Volkswagen and Stellantis is fierce, Tesla's battery leap will force a major industry reckoning. Asian markets, particularly Japan and South Korea, will witness renewed urgency as local giants like Toyota and Hyundai scramble to counter Tesla's rapid advancements. Emerging markets, often sidelined due to cost constraints, could now see affordable Tesla models with extended range. This could accelerate EV adoption in regions like Southeast Asia, Latin America, and parts of Africa, 
redefining global EV dynamics. From a geopolitical standpoint, the battery supply chain is now a battlefield. China's CATL has dominated for years, but Tesla's pivot to LG, combined with US-based production, reshapes this narrative. South Korea's LG and Samsung SDI, along with Japan's Panasonic, now become critical players in a global race for battery supremacy, potentially shifting influence away from Chinese dominance. For legacy automakers, this development is an existential threat. GM and Ford, still entangled in traditional supply chain agreements, face a stark choice, invest heavily in catching up or risk irrelevance. Volkswagen, despite its ambitious electrification goals, now finds itself playing catch-up in a race it once thought it was leading. Tesla's long-term strategy is clear. Diversify battery supply lines across continents, integrate next-gen technologies like 4680 cells alongside these new LFP-NCM hybrids, and relentlessly drive down production costs. With partners like Panasonic, LG, and upcoming ventures in Texas, Arizona, and potentially Europe, Tesla is building a global battery ecosystem designed for dominance. So, while mainstream headlines focus on quarterly earnings and superficial product updates, the real story, the one that will define the next decade of EV dominance, is quietly unfolding in Tesla's favor. Tesla's $4.3 billion battery deal with LG is not just a contract. It's a quiet revolution, one that will unfold over the next 12 to 24 months while the rest of the industry scrambles to react. And when the dust settles, don't be surprised if Tesla once again stands alone at the top, not because of flashy marketing or political maneuvering, but because they simply out-innovated everyone else. The question is, will the industry wake up in time? Or is Tesla already too far ahead? But here's the twist. This isn't just Tesla's win. This is a wake-up call to an entire industry that has been comfortably coasting on outdated assumptions. The EV landscape is about to shift beneath their feet. Tesla isn't waiting for permission. They're rewriting the playbook in real time. And the rest of the automotive world has two choices, adapt or be left behind. As this quiet revolution unfolds, every electric vehicle on the road will trace its roots back to this pivotal moment. A moment when Tesla chose innovation over complacency, precision over politics, and results over rhetoric. The only question that remains is this. When the history books are written, will Tesla's rivals be remembered as visionary competitors or as footnotes in a story they failed to understand? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this breakdown eye-opening, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives into EV tech, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next big disruption.